Hi friends, today we are going to talk about something related with the Reba. So I'll just chart it down with some processes. So first, first table, first report that we are going to use is this extract payment proposal. So these are the extract incoming invoices relevant for payment proposal. So ideally these programs should be scheduled. Okay. And, but this, this is something that you should be using. So, uh, so here, if you double click on it and you execute, okay. So it basically tells you what are the different payment proposals that Ariba will be extending. So, and if you see there is some errors here, problem with class and all those things. Uh, here it's not set up, but the programs will be working once you set it up properly. Okay, now here if you notice this, this comes as an SLG1. So this is the program uh, that extracts the document and all those things. So th this is pretty slick. This is the first program that we use. Another program that we are going to use is um, next one is function and for we'll just select this and we'll see something related with the status update request. Okay, so we'll just click execute and we'll do the same. Probably get the same information because it's not enabled here. Okay, so here problem class, problem class is important. It's not authorized, so I don't have the authorization that's what I'm getting, but this is another program that you will be using. Okay, now let's try to find the second, the next one. So I'll just function F4 and we'll try to get other stuffs. Okay, so here you can see the goods receipt process extract. So here we can see all the goods receipt that is coming out from SAP. Uh, goods receipt for recipient request. Okay, so whenever we create a goods receipt, it gets replicated in um, in uh, in Ariba. So this is something. Uh, let me see. We have something already built. So let's see. We'll just say inbound destination and we see probably i i have the same problem i don't have authorization so let me see yeah it's not authorized but if you if i go inside you know it it will call all the tables and all those things so if i go into the details of the code you know you can go inside the details of the code and you can find what is the things so let me go pick up and i'll go Create objects and here, here is the same extraction. So, both. So here you can see all the all the classes that has been used, and you can get all the information. So if I if I want to see what are there is something called extract here. So save BOPF object. Uh, something call in queue after selection display application log. What is there here? Extract. Sorry. So here, if you if I click on this and I go here and I put this, um, oops, go into this, execute. And here is my program. And here, it's it's just basically calls at the end of the day the TBL, KB, and other stuff. Okay. So that's 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 pretty simple. So this is this is the this is another report that you will be using. Now the other report I will not go inside because most of them I don't have authorization. Uh, and then you have the other ones. This is for invoices, extracting invoices. That's very important. All these programs you need to schedule. And then you have other status update where it will tell you what whether it is paid or not. And then you have the database table clean up and all those things so i think the first uh, five one two three four five is very essential and you might be using it all the time for your process now if you have vendor invoice management open tech solution you might be have to use something else but still you will be using this because uh, that will give you the picture whether it's paid or not okay so that's it for this uh, tutorial on the different ariba programs related with invoices and related with invoice and payment statuses stay tuned to my uh, sap channel and happy sap learning and have a great day